As so many organizations around the world are forced to shift operations to a remote first approach, secure remote access to the company network will be critical. And while VPN solutions aren't new, the almost 100% shift to remote employees has magnified the need to be able to scale virtual private networks. Extreme Cloud IQ enables VPN deployments that can seamlessly extend company resources and services as if employees were physically at the office, no matter how dispersed they may be, including diagnostic tools for troubleshooting both Layer 2 and Layer 3 IPsec VPNs. And speaking of troubleshooting, usually the first indication that something is wrong is when the client can't connect. So we make it easy to find the root of the problem straight from the cloud. To start troubleshooting, you'll have to select either the endpoint device or the server of the VPN. Then just click Diagnostics to see your options. We have four tools specifically available to troubleshoot IPsec tunnels. But first, let me talk about the two phases when creating an IPsec tunnel. There's phase one, where the endpoint devices authenticate one another and create a tunnel. In phase two, ESP security associations ensure traffic between clients is encrypted. Understanding the activities in each phase helps isolate where the problem might be when troubleshooting. So a good first step in troubleshooting the VPN is to first figure out if the tunnel is up by selecting Show IPsec Tunnel. In this example, you can see it is because I can see the management IP address, the source IP address, and the length of time that it's been up. But if the IPsec tunnel wasn't working, this would be a helpful tool to determine whether it's an issue in phase one or two to narrow down your troubleshooting tasks. So going down the list of potential problems in phase one, let's start with the show internet key exchange event option in the diagnostic tools. So here you can check if there's a certificate problem which would look like this. And because certificates are time-based, it could be an indication of a clock or time setting that isn't configured properly on one of the endpoint devices. Otherwise, you would need to check that the correct certificates are loaded on the VPN endpoints. But if there's no error message related to the certificates, you'll move on to checking if the network is misconfigured by confirming the internal and external IP settings on the VPN endpoints are correct, and the NAT settings on the external firewall that the VPN is passing through is also good. And if both of those things look good, you'll want to verify that UDP 500 for IPsec and UDP 4500 for NAT transversal ports are open. Another way you can determine quickly if it's a phase one issue is by going to show Internet Key Exchange Security Associations. And that shows you the various steps that happen in phase one for negotiations. If you see that it doesn't get to step number nine, then the issue is going to be in phase one of the IPsec tunnel creation. And that will be one of the three we just covered, certificate problems, incorrect network settings, or incorrect NAT settings on external firewalls. If all of the diagnostics for the Internet Key Exchange confirm the parameters are correct and working, then you'll use Show IP Sec Associations to validate the potential issues in Phase 2. If it fails, it's likely going to be because of a mismatch of either the encryption or the hash settings on the VPN client and server. But if you're only using an extreme network solution, this isn't likely to be the case because we use the same policy for the endpoints and the servers pushed from Extreme Cloud IQ. But it is possible that you might have pushed the settings to the local device and not the server. However, if you have a multi-vendor solution, this could be the likely culprit when you experience a failure at phase two of the tunnel creation. And once you've gone through these steps to help you find the root of the problem, the only thing left is, of course, to verify that a client device can ping through the tunnel and reach something back at headquarters. A Layer 2 VPN would show an IP address back from the DHCP server from corporate. If it's a Layer 3 VPN tunnel, the client would be getting the IP address from the remote branch router. Thank you for watching, and make sure to check out new videos each month on the many features available in Extreme Cloud IQ.